I think we found gold, boys. What is up, guys? Thanks for watching another video. In today's video, we are going to be installing Stage 1 Skunk Cams in my Honda Civic B20 VTEC. Before we install the cams today, I took the car to the dyno yesterday. I'll roll that footage right now. So we used a different dyno than before when I tuned the car, you'll know when I tuned the car I made 110 kilowatts. that was in the winter on a different dyno and yesterday we made 104, we, in the meantime we did the GSR cams, I never took it back to the same dyno to see what power it's making on the GSR cams but yesterday was extremely hot, it was 32 or 33 degrees here by us and the car made 104 kilowatts and 170 Newton meters which I'm happy with. Um, for the amount of work that's in the car, that is decent power. But today we are going to be installing Skunk 2 Stage 1s for my Honda. I am here with my friends at Lethal Motorsport. Gerrit is going to help me to install the cams. And after that we will take the car back for retune. After installing the cams I am going to take the car back for retune. And then I'll go back to the dyno that we used yesterday to see the jump from the GSR cams to the stage 1 skunk 2 cams enough rambling on let me show you the cams that I've got skunk 2 stage 1 cams as you can see as you can see they have never been fitted so they are brand new I bought them second hand from someone but they are brand new never been fitted to a vehicle so we will be dropping them in to see what kind of power we can extract for those of you following me on instagram you would have seen this sticker i said it's the most expensive sticker that i ever bought and it truly is but luckily the sticker came with a set of brand new skunk 2 stage 1 cams
currently on our way to Wimion to get the car tuned. I don't know if I explained this properly last time. I've been driving with the cams for about three or four weeks and we're only getting the car tuned now so I can't really remember how I explained it but we initially tuned the car on stock cams back when we put the ECU Master in I can't remember about seven six months ago so the car was on stock cams we tuned it on stock cams it made 109 kilowatts on the dyno that we're going to now then while the car was on the dyno when Johan gave me a set of GSR cams which I fitted shortly after but we never retuned the vehicle I drove the vehicle like that all this time and then the morning before we fit the cams the dyno that you saw in the beginning of this video I took the car for a before run on a different dyno I'll go for after run on the same dyno to see what difference the cam makes but when I took it for the before run we saw that the car was running lean and that must have been because we put the JSR cams in and never adjusted the tune when we put the skunks in the car it's feeling sluggish at the moment i'm going to be honest it does not feel fast but the car is extremely lean at the moment so it's to be expected the plugs looks horrible i've got a new set of plugs that i'm gonna throw in at the dyno gonna get them with when we on whatever he recommends i get them to like i said the car feels sluggish but these cams sounds absolutely amazing but the VTEC crossover is insane. These skunk twos are really nice. Listen to this. With the microphone on the camera, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to to get a nice idea of how it sounds I used to love the VTEC crossover before on the stock and GSR cams but now the crossover is insane I swear on these skunks you can hear the valves open and close through the intake it is insanely loud I absolutely love it I'm gonna drive to the dyno I'll catch you guys once we are at the dyno I did not explain this all that well yesterday at the dyno but when we put the car on the dyno we immediately noticed that something was off honestly I felt that the power was down but I didn't think it was because of something on our end I thought that it had to do with the tuning or not the tuning but as you saw the car ran lean with the GSR cams in we never tuned it to the GSRs and I went and bought a new set of plugs before the dyno I explained that to you guys when I pulled these plugs out or one plug to see what plugs is in the car just to buy the same plugs I noticed that the car was running super lean with the new cams and it didn't before when we took the plugs out to put the, the skunks in the plugs was looking okay but now the plugs is looking terrible I'm gonna pull them out in a second and show you guys but when we pulled the car on the dyno when we on immediately noticed that something wasn't lucky and it was nothing to do with the tune so it boiled down to the cam timing is off the car is going in tomorrow morning which is Saturday by the time you guys watch this video the cam timing should be dialed I'm sending the coin to someone who has the correct locking tools and a dial gauge and everything needed to set the cam timing properly but in the meantime I'm going to pull these plugs out 
show you guys what they look like and throw in the new set of plugs so that that section is sorted on my end. Um, I currently have these plugs gapped to 0.8 and everyone is telling me that it should be bigger. It should be around 1.1 there about because I have the coil on plug set up. But Romyohan was saying that I should gap them to about 0.7. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think is the correct plug gap for a coil on plug setup or a mild uh, stage 1 B20 VTEC. It's only got intake exhaust cams and then the ECU master. So I really like to know what you guys think is going to be the best plug app for me to run. I'm going to put this in at 1.1 now and I'm probably not going to feel anything because I mean the cam timing is off. It when we unfiddled with the tune a little yesterday and it does feel better than it did before but it's still it's down 8 horsepower and 8 newtons so I basically spend a lot of money on skunks to lose 8 horsepower and 8 newtons but we'll get that sorted in the next video. Let's get these plugs changed out and I'll show you what the old ones looks like. what all the plugs looks like oh just focus on the right part there's it so that's what it looks like so that shows us signs that it is running lean at the moment so I'm gonna throw in new plugs got a new set there and after throwing in the new set of plugs we will be ready to take the car to get the cam timing dialed like I said, that's happening tomorrow. Let's throw in these new plugs. Plugs are in. Simple two, three minute job. It's really easy. Um, I guess now we are ready to send the car off to get the timing dialed in and then we can see if it will make some power. Um, according to the people at Skunk, these gain about 10 to 15 horsepower which is a lot of power for just a drop in cam. I think on the aspirated it's a lot of power. Let me know if any of you have done it before and off the dyno, what numbers you saw with a set of skunks and nothing else changed we are going to change my tune obviously but i mean it's basically just a set of skunks that went in nothing else we are not going to do veneers for now um, we are just going to dial them on stock timing so that's going to be it for this video i'm sorry that i could not show you guys what power it was making or what power it's making with the cams compared to stock I would have loved to show you guys, but we will do so in the next video. These things do happen. I'll see you in the next one, bro. Peace out and reflect your passion.